You know, um, I'm checking. I've been listening to this story about good old Harvey here, which I find kind of interesting. But you know, one of the reasons why I don't like to to even speak and stuff like like this uh, is because it's rumors, you know. And and then the next question I ask myself: Why now? Why do you want to bring this about now? Why do you want to come forward and and lament about, you know, this guy who is doing all this stuff to women? You know, I mean, say, come on, folks. We know Hollywood. It's it's a cult. You know, Hollywood is a cult. It's a satanic cult. You know, it's deviant lifestyle. None of these actors are actresses. None of them are no saint. They are, f they are a bunch of whores, prostitute. They all take overnight trips to Dubai to sell themselves. We all know that. Come on. If you don't know that, then it's just too fucking bad then, isn't it? But hey, so I'm looking at this guy. And, and I know, you know, when the story came out, when the, the rumors came out, and there's something about rumors. You know, the, there's, there's an old saying. There's no saying. It's like, there, there's your side of the story, there's his side of the story, and then there's the truth. That's why I'm never going to jump just because a woman said, a guy did this to me. Because they use sex. Sex is weaponized against men. I know that. It's weaponized against men, and you can do no wrong. You can do no right. When a woman can come back 20 years later and say, he did all this shit to me. You know, why didn't you go to the police then? Oh, I was scared. Well, aren't you scared now? And the hive mind work in such a way that they all just link up together. That hive mind and just like, oh, we, the Borg mind, they just come together. I've always said that if we were in, invaded by aliens, we just turn the fucking hive mind on them. Once they start fucking the aliens, motherfucking aliens will get they get on their ship and they'll be out of here in a second. Like, ah, oh, fuck this place. Earth should be destroyed. Earth should be destroyed. But what's so crazy about, crazy about this whole thing, people keep wondering, is there, is there, what's the grand plan? What's the grand plan? You know, because there's so much confusion. There's, it's just everywhere. It's just madness everywhere. And people want to know what's the end result. You know, where's all this going? Well, I'm going to tell you the secret. You ready for it? It's going nowhere. It wasn't meant to solve anything. It's just a graveyard of confusion that feeds on itself. The idea when the devil comes into your mind is not to get a result. It's just to create more confusion and hopefully the confusion will feed it on itself and it becomes perpetual. Huh? And you might think, well, there's got to be a plan. That's the plan. That's the plan, if you didn't figure it out. That's the plan. The plan was to create confusion to make you dysfunctional. Once you're dysfunctional, you can't think. Can you think in noise? Just imagine for a second, you're in the ocean. The waves is all around you. The buoyancy of the ocean, you're floating in it. And you're just enjoying the sunlight, the rays from the sun, and the beauty of the water. And you're going through all the great memories of life and someone just come by and just start banging on a on a can. Just fuck up your day, wouldn't it? Just banging anywhere you go, just banging that banging noise. That's what that's what they're doing. They're just banging on a fucking can. That's all they're doing, just banging all around you. Just a bunch of fucking noise. There is no plan. There never was any plan. The devil never have a plan. The devil's plan is to create confusion. You get it now? There's no grand plan. The plan was, is the confusion. So what you have to do is quiet your mind. 
you might have to separate yourself from this shit and go inside and say, I'm not going to go for this no more. I'm not going to fall for this shit. There's nothing to fix. God's creation around you is perfect. You can't fix it. And you can't improve on it. Because it's perfect. So anything you do, no matter what you try, and all your efforts will end in vain futility. You'll just be one more frustrated human being on the road to nowhere. So I'm looking at this guy, and they, that's the next stage of confusion. It's coming at us. And it's coming at men. You know, they send, the, they send out the fem Nazis after him, or whatever. You know, and he's probably thinking, why, why are you all doing this to me? You know, I've been, I've been jerking off in women's face for the last 30 years. Why now? You know, why are you trying to take my company off, away from me? What did I do? You could see his bewilderment because he, he's, it's like second nature to him. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> That's why I'm not down on him hard because he's not dealing with kids. No. Why don't you all deal with we? With all the child molestation and the human trafficking that is going on in Hollywood, how comes you motherfuckers don't tackle that? Now you're not going to tackle that. And all the demonic shit and the, the devil worshipping and the altars to Satan, sacrifices and shit, you motherfuckers not going to cover that door. You're going to talk about some guy who's molesting some woman in some basement, jerking off on him, whatever the fuck he does. They should have stopped the motherfucker if, that, if they were that appalled about it. There's a plenty of utensils at those dinners that you motherfuckers go to. Walk up to him and get a fuck and just jam that motherfucker. But you're not going to do that because you're part of the plan. You're part of the situation. You bought into it. You knew what the deal was. And then you all, the hive mind is coming out to, to you know, he did this to me and he did that to me. Bullshit. Of course he did it to you. And you know, you let it happen for far too fucking long because you wanted a career in the, in, 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 at the altar of Satan. And he's one of the devils, one of Satan's angels. Like, come on, bitch. You want to do something? You want to be an actress, huh? You want to be an actress? I'll show you, but bitch, you better put out. You better put out, bitch. So, this is not to condone what he does. What he does. Or what he was doing because I wasn't there. I don't know the man. So, and I don't know the girls. I don't know the women either. So, but we know the fem Nazis. They came after this motherfucker. And sometimes I'm thinking that the feminists. Sometimes they just you might think, what did the feminists came after him? What did they? What did they want? Sometimes they just want to fuck you up. <laughs> That's what I think. You know, like. We want to fuck somebody up today. Ah, he's a low hand, hanging fruit. Let's get him. He's got on our nerve. He didn't pay his dues. You know? He didn't send us a check like he promised. Well, he sent it, but he didn't send it on time. So let's send the Femme Nazi Brigade after this motherfucker. And, you know, accuse him of some shit. We know he did it, but. We've been looking the other way, but it's time we take him down. That's all that's about. You know, grand plan. Just to keep the confusion and the noise going. To hide the bigger shits going on. That's what I think. And so, what's so crazy about this, why I'm talking about this, is this lady, this motherfucker, wrote... She wrote, ready for this, she wrote an op-ed about the fact that black woman wasn't getting raped at the same rate. He did not rape any black woman, and she's upset about that. Can you, okay, okay, wrap your head around that, guys. You see, the, the, the feminist is crazy. You know, feminists, but the regular feminists, you know, uh, uh, actually, the feminists are really, the, uh, if you talk to a feminist, updated feminists, they're not really bad. White feminists aren't really bad. They just say, we just want a piece of the pie. We, 
if we can get it, if we can bullshit our way into getting something from you, you got a company, we come in here, yeah, you didn't hire enough women, you need to do this, and you shout a little loud, and guys get scared, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to go to the press, and then we got to get a few girls up in there to make some money and kick us back some cash, we good. See, that's the white feminists, the black feminists, the swirling nigger fem Nazis. It's a whole different breed. Because they're not about the greater good. They're not about just getting a piece of the pie. They're about crushing you. They hate you. They hate themselves and they hate everything around them. And they just want to burn and crush everything. The swirling sisterhood of fem Nazi jihadists. Yeah, that's who they are. And these motherfuckers, they take no prisoners. Because these motherfuckers have a scorched earth policy. That's even scary to the white feminists. Because white feminists say, we just want to share in the bounty. But not these jihadists. They want to crush everything. That's a black feminist for you. Black feminists are the worst nigger bitches on the planet. You know why? Because they're the traitors. Because they have no reason to be feminist because black men has never oppressed them. Black men has never oppressed them in any history. And uh, uh, the whole time of our existence on this planet, we have never oppressed them. Because you know something? We've been on the planet millions of years before any other race came about. And if we were that bad, you motherfuckers wouldn't be here right now. So fuck you and your feminism fucking bunch of traitors. That's what I like to call, that's why I call you motherfuckers traitors. You see, you are, you allow yourself to be weaponized against us. And you know something? You are going to reap the tormentation and the torment of this machinery when it falls. Don't come crying to me. I don't owe you a fucking thing. So look at this bitch. She wanted the crooks. I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read any of her fucking art, but I'll just give you the idea. But first, let's check her out. Uh, there's something I write about her. Are we supposed to take this this person serious? Look like there's some screws missing. You know, <laughs> yeah, look like some screws are missing. Like the elevator don't go all the way to the top floor. And don't you just like the way she? Dab that lipstick all over her face, have her mouth looking like an orangutan's backside. Now to this crazy, twisted bitch's article. The crux of her article was that black women wasn't raped by this guy. Can you believe this shit? Black women wasn't raped by this guy. We wanted we equal opportunity to be raped. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, guys. We wanted to be raped equally. Why don't you all go out? I think you are. I tell you what, bitches. You all should go out. I get and go out in front of Harvey's Harvey's uh, house. Get yourself your little cue cards, right? And demonstrate. I got a slogan for you all. You want to hear my slogan? Yeah, I got a slogan for you. When you demonstrate in front of Harvest House, you can demonstrate and say a little slogan. We want Harvest Cream. We want Harvest Cream. We want Harvest Cream. I put my lips on the dick. 